Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Galactic Earth Angelics of the New Earth Arising. Today is a very important and special transformational day, both galactically and in the earthly realm. We fully enter the central column we call the Rainbow Bridge, or the central channel on the Zolkin Mayan calendar. We begin the journey through the Sushumna as we continue our path into the still center of Zero Point. In ten days we will be in the great center point of singularity we call Hunabku, the galactic butterfly. We begin our journey of our return to source with Keen 121 for Emish, red, self-existing dragon. This is connected with the red road of the spiritual way. This also connects us with the red dragon nation of purification and transmutation, the red queen and the red sun and moon. This is the holy fire activation and the yang energy of Mars. As we travel through this blue western castle of burning, we are clearing out all the old paradigms to make sacred space for the new. The blue flame merges with the white flame to light up all the grids and ley lines for the final purging and release as, like a phoenix rising from the ashes of the fires of destruction, we ascend up the heavenly plateaus into the holiest of holies. In this atonement all is being cleansed and released for the return to the inner sanctum of the sacred temple of light. The Lion Nation of Lyra are with us to encourage us and assist in the great awakening and transformation of our living light fields. These are the final days and the way is laid out before us by divine decree to bridge heaven and earth through our rainbow bridges of the blessed Merkaba light body. Our holy avatars have been made whole and are being reborn into the original divine blueprints for our coronations as the crown is open and activated for this quantum leap of consciousness into homo luminous beings of eternal life the golden ones have arrived for this coronation and our kingdom of heaven on earth is made manifest through the sublime love held within all star seeds sacred heart centers the secret chamber within aho Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes. So be sure to stick around to the very end. And if you could please do us a favor and give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm to get our messages, our gnosis, our energy out to more of our team of the 144,000 and with these powerful energetics of the Red Dragon Nation flowing in, we had many activations all over this realm with 105 M1.5 or greater earthquakes all over Pachamama 1515 code of the 6-6 portal, 6-dimensional energy flowing in. The most powerful today after yesterday's 7.3 in East Timor, we had a 5.7 in the root chakra of Pachamama, South Sandwich Islands earlier today and that was at 458 UTC northern Alaska in the crown of Lemuria we had a 30 Okinawa Japan 5249 Mauritius reunion 4.7 Samoa Island 45 council of nine coming in 359 kilometer depth Rad Island Aleutian Islands in the crown 3.2, Kodiak Station, Alaska, 4.9, Indonesia, 5.4, 4.7, Loving, New Mexico, 3.0, West Sumatra, Indonesia, 4.6, Chile, South America, and the Andes Mountains, Kundalini, Pachamama, 4.9, 13, Divine Goddess, Indonesia, 4.5, Japan, 4.5, 9.9, Portal, 99.10, Gree, Ninth Dimensional Energy, Kermadec Islands 5.1, Northern Alaska 3.5, Papua New Guinea 4.8, Crete, Greece 4.1, Southeast of Loyalty Islands 5.0, Azores Island 5.055, into the 10, Loving New Mexico, United States 3.7, 37 into 73, Heaven on Earth, Powerful Portal, 
the love of the new earth coming in carlsberg ridge 4.5 indonesia 4.5 another 99 portal 99 sky beings of the star nations the most powerful being the thunder beings activating us now with the powerful electricity of the lightning most powerful force of nature as we are being recalibrated and rejuvenated with the electricity of source the power of pure life force now we continue with the sabian symbols right now the moon is at three degrees five minutes sagittarius the sun is at nine degrees 42 minutes capricorn the current sabian symbol for the sun at 10 degrees capricorn an albatross feeding from the hand of a sailor and the current sabian symbol for the moon at four degrees sagittarius a little child learning to walk from astrologyweekly.com and now my sacred condor pulls a card for you today from the oracle deck beyond lemoria from izzy ivy we're getting near to the end of this deck and she pull a very powerful card of the divine goddess card 13 error paradigm shift an innovative way of existing new earth energies inspiring others fresh air flying higher than you have before more expansive perspectives consciousness shift we are in a time of great change and the speed of our evolution is increasing exponentially with our advancing technology and ability to communicate more knowledge and power are available to us as individuals than we have had for centuries there are also more platforms where we can share this information we have the ability to connect with the tribes who are making a difference to connect with a web of change where our lights unite and increase information that was inaccessible taboo or shrouded in mystery or initiation especially in the healing arts is now available we can engage many tools as we build energetic sovereignty and create pockets where we can choose to make big changes in our communities we can inspire others connect the dots and receive and share the knowledge and tools needed for transformation as we wake up we can't help but awaken those around us it may start with an inquiry on what this fresh new and long-awaited breath in is all about an expansive being holds a tiny heart-shaped seedling when the foundations we build on come from a place of love over fear we will see huge positive changes in the world we can start with ourselves themes communication sharing wisdom the breath of life movement faith winged helpers intention inspiration and change and now today from divine sister of the light celia fen as we move towards 2022 we feel the incoming energies 2022 will be the year of love we will rediscover the book of love that was the basis of the cathar way of life that was taught by mary magdalene the divine feminine avatar we will receive the crown of light that is given to those who open their hearts and align with their galactic and angelic heritage to claim their place on the new earth i don't doubt that 2022 will be chaotic and many of the themes of 2021 will continue to play out on the lower levels of consciousness but if you choose to stay in your heart and embrace love rather than fear you will find the magical gateway to higher consciousness it is indeed the year to live in grace and simplicity discovering a new way of life and a new way of being it really is time to come home from starchildglobal.com and from divine sister of the light aluna joy yashkin the first pulse begins today from 12 30 2021 to 1 2 2022 the first phase will activate your crown chakra coming from the great central sun and your root chakra coming from the core of the earth these days will initiate a great ocean of potential breathe life into this ascension process release an immense wisdom from the depths of our inner temples and plant a seed for the intent of this process this begins the merging of heaven and earth within if we are paying attention we could experience flashes of enlightened consciousness and we may feel quite elevated i've been enjoying some chilly hikes to ground and clear myself before the 20th ascension kundalini core days that begins on 12 30 2021 
These times have been really condensed and intense since winter solstice. We have had little let up or downtime, thus triggering a huge purging process all across the former earth. The new earth paradigm is gaining solid footing. Soon we will begin to see this manifesting in the outer material world as well. This has been brewing in the undercurrents for some time now. As the star elders keep saying, only the things, physical, spiritual, and mental, that are aligned with natural laws of the new cycle of time will be viable in the future. Everything else will just begin to fade away. So many corrupt energies will not be supported any longer. It has been and will continue to be the times where truth becomes lies and lies become truth. The star elders on our planetary dark night of the soul. I really don't know why we call it a dark night of the soul, because it is a time when more light comes blasting in than ever. We also have more divine assistance from our guides, guardians, and angels and masters, even if we can't feel them as much. But for sure it is very hard work to face the totality of current reality with no cushions or sugar coatings to soften the blows. We are brave hearts to face it all as it is and not superimpose our various utopian fantasies upon it and ignore the powerful shift that is right in front of us now. It is a time when we might realize that we are wrong about some things that we were certain were absolute truth and the things that we thought were absolutely wrong may actually be the truth. There will be uncountable perspective shifts in coming days and months. We are entering a spherical world with many dimensions manifesting all at once. Our highest intent is to stay fluid within all the transformation. It is not so much about all that is happening out in the world. This is mostly a major distraction at this point. It is more about how we react or take action during these changes. What happens next will happen no matter what we do. The universe will not support the things that are out of alignment and will support those things that are in alignment with the new world. The star elders continually say that this time will be a surprise. What I am seeing is a whole series of surprises with twists and turns that we did not expect. How we react to these twists and turns is the most important thing. The most important thing is to stay in the temple of the heart and out of our ego or need to be right. Realize that we are all one and that each one is on their unique path. What affects one affects everyone. It is what the Maya call in la catch a la king. This means what I do to you, I do to myself. And what I do to myself, I do to you. So the more we stay fluid and live and act from the heart, the higher the collective frequency will be. In Inca traditions, this time is referred to as tari pai pacha, which literally means to merge with the universe. In Andean prophecy, this refers to the new golden age. It is known as the age of meeting ourselves again, a coming together again of the children of the sun, the children of light, and the recreation of a new and higher frequency world. Personally, I am working daily to stay grounded to the natural world. I have already learned some big lessons for myself. I hope you all have some positive insights as well. 2022 is starting up with some powerful energies for sure with the 20 core day ascension portal 1230 2021 through 118 2022. This 20 core day ascension kundalini portal is a flipping point from one reality to another. From alunajoy.com and from divine sister of the light Ra James, Sirius is rising. On New Year's Eve at midnight, Sirius reaches its highest point in the sky. We are also celebrating the completion of another revolution around the sun. We are welcoming in the new energies of 2022. Tons of galactic energies are still pouring in. We are entering into the new beginning 2022 is bringing. The energies of 1-1 are so important. The 1-1 portal will help bridge the gap between where we are now and where the energies will take us this year. 2022 will become more like the dreamscape. Your dreams may be blending into reality. You may be experiencing more deja vu right now. We are tuning into the dream within the dream. The real change is to become more conscious within the dream. The energies of the 1-1 portal will activate more of your soul's blueprint. It's bringing new ascension codes that will help you to fully unlock your destiny. It's an amazing portal for any twin flames. This is a major abundance portal. 
It's a reminder of the infinite possibilities that exist within. It's a portal of creation. We are in the best space for manifesting bigger. January 2nd, we have a Capricorn new moon. This is the first new moon of the year, and it's so important. It's all about making long-term plans. It also has a lot to do with work. For some, this may be the ideas you're getting. Pay attention if you're being inspired to start or work on some type of mission. These energies are also showing you that you have much more inner work to do. Things may feel like they are moving slow, but they are not. This is a super moon and it will be supercharging our intentions. It's extra powerful for manifesting. We are in Capricorn season and the sun and the moon are also preparing to align in the sign. This is an earth element and it's going to help us in bringing the spiritual down into the physical. We also have a lot of DNA work that needs to occur over 2022 as we are activating our DNA and need to heal our DNA is coming up. These energies are assisting us in clearing templates from our ancestors and in clearing karma from our family lines. January 3rd is also the peak of the Quadrantids meteor shower. It should kick up some amazing meteors and shooting stars from Sparks of Divine Light Healing .com. and from Divine Sister of the Light Ramona Lappin. Divine timing is divine frequency alignment. Can you feel how all the puzzle pieces are coming together? as the big picture reveals itself. Everything you've ever experienced and been through, every disappointment, trauma, and painful lesson, all becomes a gift. All has prepared you for this. Every moment has led to this moment now. Every incarnation, every planet, world, and dimension you have experienced. As you align with your true, authentic self, all aligns for and through you. This is how all new realities are born. As you rebirth your true self, as we shift, change, and align from within, so will our realities for us, quantum style, in no time, as all merges into one. Time to leap and jump, beloveds. Remember and be your crystal avatar self, ascended master guardian self, your multidimensional self, your God source self. Shine like a billion suns. Be the supernova that enlightens all. Be the lighthouse. Be the love. Be the change that helps make the collective quantum leap of the collective consciousness to a new time-space coordinate happen, all down to a shift in perception of what all of this is truly about. The shift in perception is the miracle we are looking for. As we shift the way we look at things, the things we look at change. The quantum observer effect. Out there is the dream. Look within to awaken. The whole universe is inside of you. Fully open your sacred crystal heart. It knows all the answers you are seeking and wants to tell you all of its secrets. But you have to be still and listen. It's all happening now in no time. Eternal love and blessings, Ramona. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Aurora Ray, Galactic Federation Transmission, Ascension Update. Today I have come with a beautiful ascension update from our beloved Galactic Federation. I feel your hard work these days and the last few months have brought you closer to your soul. I can see the light all around you. Nothing can take away that light. Your soul is always powerful. Even if your physical body falls sick or breaks down, trust that you are eternal and that you will be healed as soon as you ask. Our Galactic Federation will help us every step of the way though they already are helping us by sending us messages like this one. Dear Beloved Ones, we want to send a message out to everyone who is waiting for ascension. We want to tell you that it is coming. The earth herself is going through a process of ascension, and she is making her ascension now. There are many levels of ascension, and we will go over them for you in a future message. We are your ascended masters, and we are aware of how eager you are to get off this planet. Hopefully, we will be able to do that very soon. You are being prepared for first contact. The waiting is over. It is a glorious time for all of humanity. You are about to experience the most exciting times as your planet transforms. A great wave of light has descended upon Earth and is transforming it, dissolving the old structures and systems that no longer serve you. There is much happening behind the scenes that you are not yet seeing with your physical eyes, but know this, it will be revealed as the time comes, as your earth changes to accommodate these new energies, 
Some of you will have experiences that will seem strange or even unsettling at first. Know that they are temporary and simply continue to move forward, knowing that you are safe in the knowledge that all is well and there is nothing to fear. The Galactic Federation has been reassessing the situation on Earth, although this has given you much more time than you anticipated. There is still no clear date as to when the mass landing will occur, but let us say that things are happening very quickly now, and so there is much hope for those of you who have been patiently waiting. We have been waiting over you for some time now, but we have not interfered with your choices or decisions. We have allowed you to go through your own process of learning and growing during this lifetime on Earth. The changes that are occurring in your world right now are truly remarkable. The Earth, as you are aware, is experiencing great change. You are in the midst of an evolutionary process. Many of you have been on the path of ascension and illumination, are sensing now that your bodies are readying themselves for the final stages. This can be a very confusing time because many people who have been awakened to their spiritual purpose also experience a sense of urgency, as if there were not enough time to accomplish all they wish to do. The truth is there will be no time to accomplish those things. The light you have brought into this world upon your awakening will continue to grow and expand exponentially until it engulfs the entire planet. It is important for you to know that there is no place to go from here but within yourself. It is only from within yourself that you can find your way home. You are moving into higher consciousness, vibrating at a much higher rate. Your DNA is being activated and upgraded, and the codes unlocked that will allow you to manifest whatever you desire both in this reality and beyond it. You have been working hard to raise your vibrations by clearing old energy and releasing things that no longer serve you. You have been moving out of fear and into love, love for yourself, love for the earth, and love for all life forms. All of this work has been preparing you for your physical ascension process. You will be taken to a staging area where you will meet with other star seeds, which have been waiting to ascend together. We will also meet with many others who are there to greet you. They are there to assist you in your adjustment to living in a higher density of vibration and consciousness. Ascension is the process of raising your frequency and vibration, literally moving your consciousness into a higher dimension. Your mind and emotions will also be affected as you raise your vibrations. You will feel happier, more confident, at peace with yourself and others around you, more loving and trusting, more forgiving and accepting of others, less judgmental and critical of others, more open to new ideas and thoughts, more tolerant and patient with others, less stressed out, able to handle difficulties better and have a more positive outlook on life. Ascension is not about dying and going to heaven or reincarnating somewhere else. It's about moving your consciousness into a higher dimension so that you can experience a new level of being in the physical body. As part of the shift of consciousness into a higher vibratory spiral or octave, you will move into another dimension where many things are possible that are not possible in the third dimensional world. You'll be able to utilize your creative abilities much more fully. In the past, you've been told that ascension is something that happens only to a few special people. That's not correct. It's as simple as saying, I choose to ascend now. You don't have to wait for someone else or some event to make it happen. If you've been feeling discouraged because you haven't seen ascension in action, understand the ascended masters are doing the work of lifting the frequencies higher each and every day. The more you feel their presence, the closer you are to experiencing an actual physical ascension. Ascension is the promise of a new life filled with a new set of possibilities. It is a life where you are no longer bound by the limits imposed upon you by the third and fourth dimensions. You will find yourself living in a different reality, a reality in which you have access to information that was previously hidden from your view. Your ascension process is intimately connected to your state of consciousness. As you continue to make progress towards awakening, you will notice changes occurring in both your physical and astral bodies. You may also notice that others around you begin to exhibit dramatic changes in attitudes, behaviors, and beliefs. You can expect to make great progress as you continue to focus on improving your state of consciousness. As you do so, you will begin to see evidence of other dimensional realities at work all around you. These realities are not limited to the bounds of time or space, but they are very real nonetheless. The experience of physical life is an amazing thing. 
It's such an amazing gift that you wouldn't want to miss out on, even for a minute, because it is such a beautiful, beautiful vehicle for experiencing all of the emotions and all of the joys and all of the ups and downs that make up this human experience. Ascension is your birthright. You deserve it. You've earned it. It is the dream of any soul to ascend. We will be glad to assist you on this journey. This is one of the greatest times in history, as you are all awakening at a very quick pace. This is a time when all humans that have forgotten will remember. We love you and look forward to seeing you during the ascension process. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. Aho! Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation from the Galactic Federation dot com and from Divine Sistar of the Light Dia Cosmic Blu ray twelve thirty twenty one three 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 Crystalline Waves Sometimes to transform what excite into what is yet to be what excite must be destroyed, not the destruction for the sake of destruction. It is the breakdown of what is not true to give way to something of a deeper truth. Greg Braden. When the truth comes out more, many false temples will be crumbled. The old world. They have all been very clever to use the new technologies to reinvent themselves within the social media. We realized how important it may be for many of you to read perspectives on what is currently happening. As many of you are indeed starseeds in a journey to service to all. You believe that all is done with good intent of love and compassion. Many of you have learned that the synthesis of extreme polarities in your life experience is how the inner alchemy is accomplished that directly and biologically expands your consciousness growth. In order to know God's source, one must face the shadow of fear and expand beyond its limitation. The next initiation level is where any lower vibration is being expunged. In the years to come, humanity, whether the choice is to stay on earth or to leave, will be required to be re-educated to end consumptive modeling and be rehabilitated from alien machinery and mind control. We have ascending human beings who are the principles of energy resting in God's love, are moving to be guardians of God's source love and action to the billions of souls to transition through the ascension doorway among many light tribes. Expansion of consciousness is the only way that one can exist on new earth. Old density earth grid work collapses inside the earth, outside the earth, inside the human body, and out in space. These were all energetically linked together, yet now the only grid work that exists is the golden age crystalline grid that now activates at an exponential rate and all simultaneously now. Crystalline starlight beings, the light body, expanded consciousness, and multidimensionality, these are all a part of the language galactic souls use as quantum light beings here. Mastery as an energy and form is how we understand all again. Experiencing is the only way one truly understands, unless something occurs to get the heart and mind open. Expanding awareness is how one can utilize ancient knowledge to navigate and experience through an alternate dimension timeline instead of the harsh, uncomfortable, unconscious ones. Until then, it is a concept that the human aspect wants proof to believe. Proof first is an undesirable experience. Honoring first delivers proof through magical ways. Miracles are the human words for what is natural for us here. Each shall now be awakened to their own multidimensional existence again. Life as it once was known is no longer. Life is through heart-connected existence and inner everything. Sacred honor, integrity, peace, joy, harmony, love, respect, consideration, gratitude, appreciation, compassion, sharing with kind intentional action as love is how we exist here. Each must do this first from within. Paul Dobry Carey Remember all you need is truly within you. Unify with your ascended master, guardian self, that knows how to ride these quantum waves in oneness, love, joy, and peace, Dia Cosmic Blu-ray, Guardian of the Mother Ark. And from Divine Sistar of the Light Carolyn, 144 God Code. Because I went from negative to positive, and it's all good. Yes, you can do it. Feeling optimistic that you can have it all is a birthing. 
Transitioning from the old life to your new life is completing. Individually and as a tribe, we are all collaborating a new, emotionally fulfilling timeline. God has answered our co-creative prayers and is gifting us with new, exciting, evolved opportunities. We are waking up from the abyss and opening our hearts to grace. This process of diving deep to clear what's been hidden took longer because of the children and future generations. Judgment is here today so the next generations are free of the genetic curse of Deuteronomy. Ezekiel 34.12 As a shepherd seeketh out his flock in the day, that he is among his sheep that are scattered, so will I seek out my sheep and will deliver them out of the places where they have been scattered in the cloudy and dark day. This is the final piece needed to complete ending the narcissistic codependent paradigm that we have eradicated ourselves from. What's been hidden is coming to the light so we can heal and the children can heal. Feminine power, life force energy, and creative output are returning. The feminine energies were traditionally honored and respected equally with the masculine. We are restoring this original embodiment of equality and wholeness, individually and collectively. God is ensuring redemption, power restoration, and wisdom from all the past lessons needed to make us whole and independent. Everything you need you have within yourself. The masculine and feminine are understanding this which ends separation and sabotaging relationships. This intuitive communication is part of the consciousness upgrades and brain rewiring, requiring a lot of rest and going within. Here we can mend bridges, completely transmuting the wounds and trauma that created separation and karmic relationships. This healing and ascension is completing for all twelve tribes were scattered on the earth. Ezekiel 28.25 Thus saith the Lord God, when I shall have gathered the house of Israel from the people among whom they are scattered, and shall be sanctified in them in the sight of the heathen, then shall they dwell in their land that I have given to my servant Jacob. In Jesus Christus name, Amen. God bless you from Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Mercury conjunct Pluto and Capricorn. Mars and Sagittarius sextile Saturn and Aquarius. Mercury makes its first conjunction to Pluto in a series of three. Curiosity is piqued by suspicion, mistrust, a secret, a deep thought arising in a quiet moment, an urge to research, and need to get to the bottom of a vexing problem. The mind wanders down into the vaults of consciousness, sees the doors to deeper territories, knocks, waits. The invitation comes from Pluto, a quick matrix-like flick of the hand into a reality we suspected, yet had not yet touched. Fear and loathing lie in this place, yet also there is profound healing. The possibility to unite mind with indomitable will. Words and thoughts have power under this influence, and we're just beginning to discover how this can change everything. Make your mind a friend instead of an enemy. Dig deep for the truth. We're strengthened and anchored by Mars and Saturn who promise us that we have the strength to do the necessary work. Muscles grow stronger with use. Accomplishment comes from persistence. Here is the power to push past obstacles. Repeat, I can do this in moments of doubt. From LeahWhitehorse.com and from 13 Moon Peace Time, yesterday on Keen 120, Yellow Electric Sun, we entered the Yellow Galactic Spectrum, season of ripening enlightenment, Keen 120 through Keen 184. In Keen 120, the Galactic Yellow Season is initiated. 65 Keen Yellow Galactic Spectrum, initiated by Yellow Sun Code Spell 20, in third electric position, of the White Mirror Wave Spell 10, Blue Castle. Ruled by the Yellow Sun, the 65-day spectrum brings a fractal perspective of the chromatic process that goes on in the Zolkeen. We usually experience the four colors daily through the Keens, which always follows the order. Red, white, yellow, red, white, blue, yellow. When we apply this process to the 260 days of the matrix, we arrive at four stations of 65 days governed by the members of the polar family. The polar family consists of the red serpent with the initial process of instinct, the white dog with the process 
of the heart, the blue eagle with the process of the collective mind, the yellow sun with the process of illumination, the yellow season which started yesterday is administered by four suns. Tone 3, electric sun, initiates 20 keen to establish galactic spectrum. Tone 10, planetary sun, initiates 20 keen to extend galactic spectrum. Tone 4, self-existing, initiates 20 keen to convert galactic spectrum. Tone 11, spectral sun, initiates 5 keen to transport galactic spectrum. The electric sun starts the cycle, establishing the yellow galactic spectrum for 20 kins. The planetary sun extends this spectrum to 20 kins. The self-existing sun converts this spectrum to 20 kins. The spectral sun carries this spectrum to 5 kins, passing the baton to the red electric serpent, which starts the next season. Experience these cycles consciously each day, and the knowledge of time will open naturally to you. Key 0 0.3 In the true state of mind there is only infinity in every direction. The cube is the finite root of the infinite. This is the expression of the law of one. Infinity is a radial matrix of unending order. 260 Keys to Synchronotron Cosmic History Quote for Moon 6, Day 18 Through telepathy, the art of nature expresses itself in geometries of sound and triangulations of light. From 13moonpeacetime.com Today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 121, Red, Self-Existing Dragon. Self-existing is the name for the number 4 and its keywords are define, measure, and form. The fourth day of a wave spell is all about taking a closer look at things, paying attention to the details. So read the small print, get your magnifying glass out, and don't let anything slip past your notice. Today is Red Dragon and it represents nurturing, birth, and being. Dragon days are about taking care of yourself, retreating into a cave to recharge your energy. Be kind to each other and allow yourself to be mothered. Offer nurturing too, as it is a self-existing day. This suggests that we need to take a closer look at what it is that needs care. Is there something you've neglected lately? A health issue, perhaps? And now from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Red Self-Existing Dragon, 4 Emish, Keen 121, 30th December 2021, Birthing a New Form, 30, 12, 20, 21, equal 3, 3, 5, equal 3, 8, equal 11, equal 2. Day codes, 30, retrospection, retreat. 3, holy trinity, joy, creativity. 11, portal, gate, polarity. 2, twins, cooperation, partner. Month year codes, 12, acquiring strength, wisdom. 3, holy trinity, joy, creativity, communication. 5, freedom, liberation, change, transformation. 8. Infinite Abundant Source Flow Keen 121 equal 4 Form, Structure, Foundation, Earth, Angelic A powerful day of new beginnings, transformation, and birthing new structures ready for the new year. Today is the first day we enter the central column of the Zolkin, and we are threading the eye of the needle, so to speak. In 10 days' time, at the completion of the White Mirror Wave Spell, we arrive at Hunab Ku, Galactic Center, and we are at zero point, Source, on 8-9 January 2022. Generally, this period of time denotes a calmness and a time of balance during the next 20 days. The calm before the storm starts all over again. Day 4 in the White Mirror Wave Spell of Reflection, Truth, Illusion, Endlessness, and Magnification. Today we are defining order and truth as our response to the evolving patterns and cycles reflected in our everyday life, in order to build a new foundation for our world. Tone of creation, self-existing tone four in the mental realm, action measures, power defines, essence forms. Self-existing number four takes form, and we have ourselves a square shape, self-existing, measuring, and defining, very intelligent, fascinated by self. We now have built a sturdy platform upon which further growth takes place. Dispense with the rest and build your new solid foundations on the basis of natural harmony, truth, and divine nurturance, giving form to your new life and our new world. 
Through connecting with the innocence of your pure divine child, you can connect with the magical, spontaneous power of creation, responding to your spontaneous heart's desires, which leads you to the best future that you are currently birthing. So precious hearts, a day of reflection and synchronicity, pointing the way in order to birth a lovely new world filled with love and nurturance. Today's question is, in which direction are the signs guiding me? to redefine and birth my new life in our new utopian world. Divine blessings for the formation of a wonderful new foundation of joy and bliss. In la catch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66, Keen 121, Red Self-Existing Dragon. The mantra the code for today is, I define in order to nurture, measuring being, I seal the input of birth. With the self-existing tone of form, I am guided by the power of navigation. And on this powerful day of navigating these unprecedented waters, let us know, beloved beings of lights, in the comments below, what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this very important work. I'd like to welcome and thank Divine Angel of the Light Alex for your pledge and support on Patreon. And welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. And I'd like to also welcome and thank Divine Angel of the Light Sadaf for your pledge and support on Patreon. And welcome to the tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. If you'd like to help support us and help us continue bringing these transmissions and our teachings to the world, you can make a monthly pledge at our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to also thank Divine Sistar of the Light Sally Benson for another donation. Thank you very much, Divine Sister. We appreciate you and your continued support. We appreciate all of you for continuing to support us in our work and mission. If you'd like to make a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal link at egolovecondor.com. I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork on Etsy. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. There's one more day. Tomorrow's the last day of the 20% off sale, so be sure to take advantage of that. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with powerful codes from our Pleiadian Brothors and Sistars of the Light. Pleiades 1 Messages, December 30th, 2021. P1 calling Terrans for Origins Recognition. Attention for calls in PVSE-SDE. Nevic Chamber, 11, active. Special qualities are retaken. Holy shears in progress. Harmonic scripts are delivered. Transcendental forces continue to expand. Lunar revolutions keep expanding. Platinum delivering packages in short linear. Attention Terrans, new transformational waves sent. Specific attention for 303, 606, 909, 1212, 1515, 1818, 2121, 00, first wave, one third. Attention Terrans, level one package deliveries in progress. Solar projection Kundalini function in the next 72 hours. Solar plexus reverberation. Attention Solaris and Solaris, new synchronized solar waves sent to Terran plane. Support and immediate assimilation. Next, arrival calculation. Temporarily end of transmission. Pleiades 1, supporting anchoring, an island of purification. From DisclosureNews.it Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. 441 coming in, the mayor of the 144. I've been connecting on a deep level with our star nations of the Pleiadians, the Syrians, the Arcturians, and the Andromedans. And they say we can now connect and call to them. They can take you etherically to the healing chambers we call the med beds, 
Within the next week or two, I hope to be bringing out a special teaching on how to do this. But you could practice from your heart, connect to whatever star nation resonates the most with you or multiple nations, it doesn't matter. You can connect with the Syrians, the Lyrans, the Arcturians, the Pleiadians, Andromedans. And today they sent me a special vision early this morning, which may trigger a remembering in some of you listening now. They sent to me a special orb. It was a silver, almost chrome shaped sphere that's like a camera that scans your body. It levitates over your physical vessel that scans your body for any anomalies, any imbalances, any discordance within the body, any issues in the physical vessel. And it will send these images and information to the ships and to the healing chambers that will assist in the healing of your physical vessel. This will be a healing on multi-dimensions, multi-levels to your physical body, your mental body, and your emotional body. So connect now, and if you haven't already, let the process of healing begin. And have a most beautiful, blessed, and auspicious journey through the rainbow bridge of the center of the Dzolkin, the central column. We call the Shashumna within your physical vessel, or the Katika channel, the central channel that runs through your sacred vessel. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. And keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.